American experts and advisors have landed in Nigeria ready to help with the search for all those missing schoolgirls. And we noticed there is new life in an old campaign tonight. Remember the famous faces Sean Penn, Justin Timberlake, Ashton Kutcher with a message, real men don't buy girls. It is rocketing around the globe once more and ABC's Hamish McDonald is moving through Nigeria tonight to bring us the latest there. With the world watching, Nigeria's president, good luck, Jonathan, is under so much pressure. I believe that the kidnap of these girls will be the beginning of end of terror in Nigeria. But there is evidence the violent tactics are winning. Today, girls who escaped the mass kidnapping, their faces blurred, describe the terrifying ordeal. They were told, if you run, we will kill you all. In the dusty yard at this school today, it is marching practice. The children turn out with pride, despite the danger. We are afraid. We think that maybe one day they'll just come to our doorsteps. Do you actually feel scared? I feel very scared because everybody is scared to die, but I know one day everybody is going to die. Lydia is 15 years old, loves school and speaking her mind. But the terror group has made it clear, girls have no place in the classroom. It's peaceful now, but just days ago, a bomb tore through their town, killing 20 people. A month ago, Boko Haram attacked, killing 70. For these children, the threat is very real. They've seen so much bloodshed, but every time there's a burst of loud noise near this school... There is that reaction of, like, panic and fear, and that's even common, not just with the kids. Even adults would You're react, scared too. of course, certainly. They may be afraid, but defiant, standing by the kidnapped girls. The girls are just like us because we too we are girls and we feel their pains. Anything they are feeling here, we also feel it too. There is solidarity, but tonight the missing girls need much more than that. Hamish McDonald, ABC News, Nyanya, Nigeria.